This is the Make E1 UV desktop printer. It's a hybrid between an inkjet printer and a 3D printer using resin inks and a UV curing light on the print head to print on any object you can fit in it. It's currently on Kickstarter with an early bird price of 1,899 US dollars and will retail for 2,499 US dollars. Since the ink cures instantly, it can print layers upon layers to build up Z-height and give your prints a 2.5D texture. Let's zip through some specs and features here so we can get to the cool stuff. It has a modular bed system so you can easily switch between the small and large flat beds or a roller for use with tumblers and mugs, just by sliding one lever. The unit is sleek and sturdy with handles on either side and has doors on the front and back which can be opened for a pass-through design. There's one large button on the top and a small power button on the bottom left of the machine accompanied by a barrel connector for power input and a LAN port if you'd like a wired connection instead of the built-in Wi-Fi. It uses six ink cartridges that easily pop in and out at the top here. There's CMYK inks or cyan, magenta, yellow, and black, as well as white and gloss clear. White is a huge deal as it allows you to lay down a base layer on clear objects to achieve opaque, rich colors on any surface. There's also a door on the right side of the machine that houses the cleaning solution, which is used for flushing any ink out of the print head to avoid clogs. There's a built-in charcoal filter to scrub any odors created by the UV ink, but I didn't find the smell to be too overwhelming unless I was doing a huge print. As of now, there are three options for the bed. A small flat bed that measures 330 millimeters by 90 millimeters, a roller system for tumblers and mugs, and a large flat bed measuring 333 millimeters by 418 millimeters. The small flat bed takes advantage of the built in kinematics of the machine, moving the platform on the Z axis as well as the Y. The large bed has a built-in stepper and smooth rods for extended motion on the Y-axis. And this all connects with pogo pins located on the bottom of the bed. The roller has a similar connector for the rotational stepper and the tilt axis for tapered cups. The large bed requires that both doors are open on the machine, but the small bed and roller can be used with the doors closed. Before printing, the machine will use a set of lasers to determine the height of your object. But the object must be flat with a height variation of under two millimeters. Both flatbeds use sheets with a light reusable adhesive to keep your media flat and secure, but those will lose grip over time, especially as overspray builds up on them. When you replace an adhesive sheet, the machine prints grids on the protective paper cover to calibrate the built-in overhead camera. Once that's done, you can remove the paper and start printing. You'll need to connect the machine to your Wi-Fi network using the Make app but once it's connected, you can use the desktop Eufy Make software to send your designs. As of right now, you can only use the 2.5D features on the desktop app, but this may change as the software is still in beta. Okay, let's get printing here. Eufy Make sent over tons of different materials to print on, so let's try these ceramic fridge magnets first. I picked one of my favorite pictures of my dog, Olive, and printed a flat image and a 3D image. The software uses AI to generate a depth map, and this is the grayscale depth map that was created for this image. Here's the two magnets. The 3D effect here is super cool. 
Next, I printed a set of planet coasters using just one millimeter of texture to make these images pop. I used some pretty low res images for this, but there's built in upscaling in the Eufy Make app. These took two hours for the set of six, and they turned out great. Next, I printed a collage of dog pictures on this water bottle. And this turned out great. I took advantage of the gloss clear coat here for some added durability. Let's move on to some stickers. This is a bit of an involved process. You'll need to print directly to an adhesive film, then run it through the laminator to bond the ink to the adhesive. And finally, you can apply your sticker. Okay, let's go through some things I've printed in rapid fire here. This macro data refinement sticker printed directly on a piece of white vinyl. This Futurama poster printed directly to a piece of spring steel. These bottle labels for some recycled PET filament swatches. This Lumen Industries logo printed on plastic for a light box. This giant mushroom printed right to canvas with tons of added texture. A metal band logo on my phone case. I think you're starting to get the idea. You can really print on almost anything. Time to print can vary depending on settings, but for flat prints with just CMYK, it takes about twice as long as a standard inkjet printer, as there's the dispensing of ink and then the curing with the UV light. When you start introducing texture, it can take quite a bit longer and some larger prints can take hours similar to traditional resin 3D printing. Price of ink is listed at $42.99 on their Kickstarter page, bringing the price per millimeter to $0.42. Cents. Small prints like coasters and magnets can take less than one millimeter, while bigger objects can take upwards of 20, with 3D texture prints taking a lot of white ink to build up C-height. Here's a few project cost breakdowns from the Eufy Make E1 Kickstarter page. That's all for today. Let me know in the comments what you would print on this thing. Special thanks to Eufy Make for sending this machine for me to take a look at. As always, thanks for watching and happy printing. <laughs>